All right, everybody. I have been anticipating this for a couple months now. I've got my list and everything and got everything written down, except for one thing, but I, that's easy to, to remember that. But this is always going to be my opinion. This is a uh, nothing factual, just my opinion. Um, see if you guys uh, agree with this. 2004... The greatest year in gaming history. I, I, I think so. This is uh, coming from a guy, uh, from coming from a young kid at that time, who's uh, who had all three systems: the GameCube, the Xbox, the PS2. Didn't have a gaming PC, so I didn't play World of Warcraft. I didn't play Half Life Two. However, I just checked off two of those games in 2004. People still talk about those games still to this day. Uh, Half-Life 2 is still heavily supported with with mod support. Still with Gary's mod and all that stuff. is still being heavily supported to this day. Um, changed uh, Valve's... Uh, changed Valve forever. Um, but yeah, it, it, it launched Steam, I think, as well in 2004. So it's been around for a long time. 2004 is top notch and i'm going to list a couple more let's uh let's let's list some more off and get this started halo 2 gta san andreas doom 3 need for speed underground 2 okay now I, when i say all these games now not all of these games are going to be fan favorites some of these games are going to be games that you may not even particularly care for i actually particularly don't really care that much for Need for Speed Underground 2. I prefer the first one because it's more linear and it has a more just better, decent approach to it. I I, I thought the open world in, in Underground 2 was a little bit weak. It was the first open world Need for Speed game, but when you compare it to the other ones like Most Wanted, Most Wanted is way better than uh, Underground 2. But I'm just saying because this is a fan favorite uh, Need for Speed game, a lot of people say that this is their fa favorite one. Uh, Spider-Man 2. And the, again, isn't my f personal favorite Spider-Man game, but it's a fan favorite. Everyone still talks about Spider-Man 2. Uh, also, Halo 2. Halo 2 isn't somewhat fan favorites, but these games are critically acclaimed. These games are super popular. They're, they're still known to this day as being popular. You know, like, th these games aren't all my favorites, but they're memorable. They, I remember them. Uh, Def Jam Fire for New York. Easily, arguably the most favorite one of the series. I like Vendetta more, but you know, you, know, you can't really go wrong with either one. Uh, Fable. Fable was an incredible game at the time. Yeah, there was some lies from Peter Molyneux who said that you can do this and this and this. You can get married and... None of that happened in the game. It was, it was tell me lies, sweet little lies before Todd Howard for, uh, back back then. He was Todd Howard. He was Fraud Howard before Fraud Howard was even a thing. All right. So Peter Molyneux started the whole tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies song way back in 2004. So um, <laughs> obviously that's a bit of a negative to 2004. But uh, I'm just going to name some more games. Red Dead Revolver, again, not the best game, but it started a series that we all know and love now to this day. Uh, Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Three, and Metal Gear Solid uh, Twin Snakes, the remake of the first game on the original GameCube. Uh, both great games. I personally have never played either of these games because I'm never really a big Metal Gear fan. I've never played really the Metal Gear games except for maybe the first one on PS1 and I played Metal Gear 4. I haven't played any other ones, sadly. Uh, now, here's the, here's, here's the big one here for me. My, from one, one of my personal favorites of this list, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I mean, talk about like one of the best sequels ever created. I mean, Sly 2 is awesome. I even have the Platinum on PS3 because they, they re-released it. Yeah, it's an easy Platinum. The game is pure easy but i i like easy games you know sometimes we don't need hard always hard games to you know you know have fun at least for me 
Uh, another game, my favorite arcade racing game of all time, Burnout 3. Burnout 3 is, is an incredible game. If you haven't played it, uh, I swear EA has to re-release this too. They re, -re they re-released, uh, um, they re they re-released the Paradise game, and that one was good. I like Paradise, but Burnout Three and Burnout Revenge are the two best ones. And man, they just don't. Uh, I mean, they re-released Revenge on uh, Xbox One. It's backwards compatible, which is nice, but the servers are down, and you know, just the magic of Three, I just like a little bit more. Uh, right, uh, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Another great. Uh, Ratchet and Clank game. I've only briefly played that one, but I do plan on playing it again uh, more sometime in the future because I do have it. I have it downloaded on the PS3 because I have the remasters, and I do plan on going to that eventually and finishing it because I've only briefly played it, but I have all the Ratchet games, all the good ones anyways, not the, you know, trash ones. Uh, Red Jack 3, another j uh, year, Jack 3, uh, not my, actually, probably, my, it might be my favorite Jack game. Jack 2 is probably my favorite, but Jack 3 had better balance of difficulty. Jack 2 was just brutally hard. It was not, it got, it got to the point where it wasn't fun. Jack 3 had more, be, better balance and, 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 you know, had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with Jack 3. I never beat it or anything, but Jack 3 was, was, was very fun at, at the time. Uh, Ace Combat 5. The last Ace Combat 5 uh, that was on PlayStation exclusively until um, the no the last numbered uh, exclusive uh, Ace Combat game that was only on PlayStation. And then they released uh, exclusively on 360 Ace Combat 6. And then they had the other spinoff games that were on 360 and PS3. And then they finally just obviously came out with Ace Combat 7 recently, like last month. So... Yeah, great. Another great Ninja Gaiden. Man, oh man, you have if you if you weren't around in two thousand and four, if you were too young, you guys don't understand the hype that this game got at the time. It had ten, ten out of ten, five out of fives. X Play gave it like five out of five. It was praised. I mean, they, I think it was nominated for Game of the Year that year, and it, it went up against Halo Two, Half Life Two, uh, you know, World of Warcraft. I mean, all these games, I'm telling you, these are big, heavy hitters. And I haven't even hit the hidden gem games like PsyOps. You know, Psy PsyOps was a, another game that isn't on this personal list. But I'm just naming off the heavy hitters. Um, Katamari Damacy, another one. You know, now this game probably technically didn't come out in 2004, but it got released in America in 2004. So I got to put it on the list because it came to America in 2004. I love Katamari Damacy. I know that they re-released it just this year, actually. Actually, no, December. It was almost this year. December, they re-released they re -re they re it on Switch. Which, by the way, I hope I hope Namco re-releases uh, re this on on PS4 and Xbox One, because I, at least PS4, because I really want to replay it and get the trophies and stuff, you know? I never beat that game either. I, I didn't beat a lot of games back then. I got stuck on a lot of them. But. And, and then here's here's the best sports game on this list. Uh, on The only sports game on the list, and it's the only necessary sports game. ESPN NFL 2K5. It's still talked about to this day, and peop, uh, games still try to emulate this game and try to want to be like this game and try to outdo it and they still haven't outdone it still to this day in my opinion um so another game that's on this list that is quite um, uh quite uh quite fantastic tony hawk's underground 2 not my favorite under uh tony hawk game it's probably maybe underground 1 or whatever but still it, I put it on there just because it's still it's still memorable. All these games are memorable. You can you can talk about them regardless or not if they were they were your favorites or not. They're still great. And by the way, I didn't touch on San Andreas, but San Andreas is probably one of my most played GTA games. It really is. I mean, I remember I went on and on about like the the uh, the the. In 2007, when YouTube was first taken off, you know, like the the uh, the Sasquatch uh, 
Easter egg that you can find in the woods. It was never there. It was only a mod, but I did it anyways because I really wanted to see if it was actually there. Anyways, NFL Street 2. I love NFL Street 2. Uh, 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 Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Some say some people say Pandora Tomorrow is the best. Some see, some people say Chaos Theory is the best. Whether you like them, uh, whether what one you like or not, you can't argue that that one, Pandora Tomorrow, definitely is deserving. Uh, it came out in two thousand and four, a great year. Uh, the original Far Cry, um, <laughs> another like this year is crazy for FPS games. Half Life Two. Halo 2 and Far Cry. I mean, it's just it's just pretty insane that and Doom 3 as well. I mean, heavy hitters for FPS games. I mean, this was a crazy year for FPS games. Uh the Getaway Black Monday. All right, I put all right, I'm stretching it now, all right? That probably wasn't even that good of a game, but I put it on there anyways. I mean, the first Getaway is better, but I put Black Monday on there just because it's a Getaway game and it hasn't been mentioned, so I just put it on there. Another game, I had this as a kid, WarioWare Twisted for the Game Boy Advance. I love, it's my favorite Game Boy Advance game of all time. It's my most played Game Boy Advance game of all time. WarioWare Twisted is fantastic. And also, WarioWare Touched on the DS. And the DS and PSP got released in 2004. How do you like them apples? Uh, and uh, all the games that came out on PSP and DS that year. I don't have them listed on here, but I did it because to for for time restraints. I didn't want to go too too deep into it. But if you want to do it for yourself, just look at all the PSP games that came out that year, all the DS games that came out that year. They're pretty, they're, you know, like they're, they're not amazing games, but they're good. Especially Ridge Racer on PSP. Let's just say that is the my favorite PSP game of all time. I'm just going to say that. That's just my opinion. Day of Reckoning. Of course, I got to put the WWE games on there. At least one of them. I like the SmackDown vs. Raw as well. But Day of Reckoning also was another good one. I just didn't like the career mode that well because I had to win every single match. I mean, how stupid was that? But anyways, that is it. Um, there's more. Uh, I think that I, I actually I missed uh, Hitman Contracts. I didn't say that one. So uh, that one's well. But that is just a sum of portion of games that came out in 2004. Um, there's a there's there's a couple others that that I didn't mention, but you may have liked. But yeah, that is a great great year. My favorite game year in gaming ever, uh, because I just remember being and I remember E3 2003 when I watched it on G4 or Tech TV also at the time, that they were covering all these games at E3, and I was excited for them. And, you know, I was uh, blown away when I seen Halo 2. And I remember wanting to see that, and I played it. And I remember, and then I realized, where is that gameplay that I seen at, at, at E3 2003? It's not in this game, because it never made it. It was too big. It couldn't handle it. It was running on a PC, and the Xbox couldn't handle that part on Halo 2. But it was still a good game, I guess, at the time. So, anyways, that is that is it. I mean, I'm 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 running on 13 minutes. I don't want to run really run any more than this. Tell me your best year in gaming. Uh, this is, I think, you know, this this and maybe 1998 is probably like debated. You know, which one is better? I feel like 2004 is personally better because I feel like the games hold up more. Uh, you. You, um, like Half-Life 2 and Halo 2 still look great to this day, especially Half-Life 2. You go look at Half-Life 2, even without mods, it looks incredible. I mean, it, it, it's just an incredible looking game. Sly 2 still holds up. Burnout 3 just looks incredible, still holds up to this day. The crashes and everything are unmatched to, to crash games today. Uh, so, yeah... I feel like that wins overall just because they hold up, the games hold up more. Um, but I understand the reason why people say 1998 is the best year. I, I respect that. I respect that opinion for, for, for people who say that. You can't really, you're not wrong either way. 
But anyways, this is a nice friendly conversation. Let's have a nice friendly conversation on what the what the best years in gaming were. My opinion, it's 2004. So tell me your best years in gaming. What what is the best years? Follow me on Twitter uh, if you don't already, because I like having debates and maybe conversations because it's fun. You know, it's fun. You you join this kind of stuff because you want to have these kind of type of conversations and stuff. Uh, debates and all that stuff. It's fun. Uh, anyways, that is it. Uh, my Twitter is SpongeBob, just like everything else. Um, but that is it. And uh, thanks for, if you've watched this long, thank you. And uh, like and uh, comment. I always like comments. Comments are the best. If I'm not getting comments, well, and it's kind of crappy. But at the end of the day, it's it's all good. I just, putting this out to vent and, you know, have some nice entertaining. Try to entertain people as much as I can. So anyways, that is it. You guys, uh, see you guys next time.